Hey there, welcome to pcdailytips.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, create a PNG transparent uh, file using free image editor. So let's get started. First, you go to pixrr.com, so pixel.com. Here it is. And you will see something like this. And then we're going to choose on pixel editor. And once you've done that, you're going to create new image or open image from your computer because now I am I want to create um, watermark for uh, YouTube uh, in video programming so I'm going to create new image with a uh, different uh, dimension so as you can see we can name it as YouTube watermark for example and then the preset as you can see it has a lot of presets here maybe you can find the size which will uh, switch you need but at the moment I need 800 uh, time 800 which is not here in listed so I'm going to go to width and then height so width I have already 800 and then I just modify the height uh, which has to be 800 so once I have width and height uh, as I wanted I go to transparent and check this checkbox since I want to have a transparent PNG file check this checkbox and then hit OK so now that I already have my um, editor here my uh, working um, field so I'm going to drag and drop, drop this uh, toolbar here so I can see better and as you can see it's viewing now 96% uh, so if I just drag it and then drag this as you can see now I can see the whole uh, working area here even in uh, 30, uh, 96 percent so the next is I want to put my image for example because uh, as you can see on the top I have my image and then subscribe um, text under my image uh, I already prepare my um, image which is on my finder and in my desktop as you can see I had I have a photo to JPEG file it is not my image but let's say it's my image so I'm going to uh, use that so the next step is we go to image on the toolbar on the top uh, sorry not image but layer and then open image as layer make sure you uh, import your image this and not using the file and uh, open image so once again we go to layer and then select on open image as layer click that and then you look where you save your photo which you want to edit so at the moment I'm just going to use the photo.jpg that I show you earlier and then click open and if I go again to my photo and look at in the dimensions it has uh, 3125 times 3908 which is really big for this 800 time 800 uh, pixel working area before this one is the size so what we can do is we're going to um, transform this uh, huge file we're going to make sure that this layer 1 is selected which is actually the layer of the image and then we go to edit and then free transform now as you can see that it has a huge uh, a huge uh, free transform area here so when you see the uh, the blue box on the top and then the arrow there that means you can edit it hold down your shift key while you edit it so it will not uh, it will not lose the quality I mean the trend the constraint and the um, quality of the image so you are just going to drag and drop and then uh, once you have it you're going to drag it and drop it until it fits your image and as you can see it's still uh, it's still a very large image here so what I'm going to do still holding the shift key and um, resize it until you see the quality of the image now as you can see it's getting better because it's getting smaller and uh, just do that so say like this but I want to be uh, full of the my image my working area so maybe it will be okay like this so once you are happy with this you going to um, let your shift key uh, free I mean just don't hold your shift key anymore and then we're going to uh, go to the tool area here 
and then it will ask you or confirm you do you want to apply the changes to image and I'm going to hit yes button so the next is we want to put um, yellow background subscribe button here so what we can do is add new layer again here on the uh, toolbar layers and click on new layers so once we create new layer we're going to go to here in the tools uh, icon here and we look for square uh, drawing tool so click on that and make sure that it's square uh, form here is selected and then um, anything is okay just the fill shape it's now black and we want to have a yellow uh, background so we want to click that and then choose uh, here web and then choose on yellow uh, area here or you can choose any color you like and once you done that you're going to hit OK and when it's showing yellow here we can then uh, draw the subscribe background yellow background here so drag so just draw a yellow square here so make sure it's fit and then once once we've done that we're going to um, create new layer again so click on new layer and then now we want a text so we want to uh, type on subscribe so here is the text type tool and once you when it's click and then you can create text here and it will show you what kind of uh, text you want to type here I want to type on subscribe for example and the font you can change the font uh, at the moment it sets to Verdana which is okay by me and then the size I want to uh, make it bigger something like this and then the style I want bold alignment I leave it by default and hit OK and then um, go to your move tool again and then drag and and position the subscribe here so we can drag and drop this text to be somewhere in the middle of this uh, yellow background so now next is we need to save this image so go to file and save and name the image so I already named mine so it's called YouTube watermark and make sure that the format is called PNG so select on PNG transparent full quality click on that and then uh, it's it says it's PNG already and then hit OK and then I'm going to save it to my desktop and I hit save so when it's saved you can check again to your desktop or wherever you save it and check on YouTube watermark.png and as you can see it has the dimension 800 times 800 pixel and the size 130 kilobyte and if you right click it and get info you can actually get all the data about the image you just saved so that's all guys um, quick tips for today if you want to create PNG transparent um, image with free text editor uh, I mean free image editor so thank you so much for watching uh, this video and take care of yourself goodbye